We travel usually on Friday and Saturday night. And I'm not saying this is bragging on us. I'm just saying it's important to be plugged into church. We try to be in our life group. We try to come to church. We don't always make it, but we try. We were in Des Moines, Iowa a couple of years ago, Donna and I, on the time change Sunday, not the good one. <laughs> and, and we had two shows that were sold out. And Donna always runs the media and stuff. And she was up in the balcony getting everything ready. And she came down the stairs and she took a head. And laid out in the lobby. And I met her down there and I said, honey, you okay? Can you get back up there and run that stuff? As her legs swelled up. And they had to park her in the pastor's office the rest of the night. That's where she stayed. And the pastor came in and gave her one of the church t-shirts. And here's what it said. It's coming up, brother. A place for hurting people. <laughs> that was the shirt. As her leg got bigger and bigger. But we did the two shows. Got back to the hotel that night at midnight, which was now 1 a.m. And they had no wheelchair. I had to go get the luggage rack, load her up, and move her in. You know? <laughs> and our flight the next day was 6 a.m., which meant we had to be there at 4 a.m., which meant I had to get up at 3.55. <laughs> and let me tell you, they don't, you know, I ran, I walked through the scanner thing. They don't scan you when you're in a wheelchair. My wife was in a wheelchair and they, put, and let me tell you, that woman TSA agent was thorough. I looked at her and said, lady, I'm married to her and can't touch her that much. Good night. <laughs> True. But we got on the plane, we made it back time for church because it's important.